Hey guys, good morning. It's raining again today. So pretty, nice outside. I stayed up really late finishing editing yesterday's Sunday in these things. Took me over two hours. <laughs> Um, which is way later than I wanted to be up. I was really tired. So I'm going to go back to sleep right now and do something later today again. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, hey guys. So I am going to do another spell today for my devotion from my Llewellyn's uh, Spell a Day book. Um, so today I will be doing um, a Create a Magical Incense spell. So this was actually for yesterday for Embolg, to make incense for Embolg. Um, but I'm going to do it again anyway today. Um, or not again, but I'll do it today to honor Breed. Uh, honor breed um, and also just to make some cool, magical, fun uh, incense. Uh, I've never made homemade incense, so I'm excited because I did just get a new mortar and pestle. Uh, so here we go. Here's my setup. So this is my brand new mortar and pestle, which I got um, on Etsy, hand carved. It's a tree of life. It's so beautiful. Um, and then I just gathered, that's not going to be the exact ingredients that it said in the book because I didn't have them all. So I just kind of gathered what was like that and what I actually did have here. So here's going to be my carrier oil, my sun, my safflower oil, uh, fresh or dried basil, uh, some cloves, fresh rosemary from the backyard, uh, some mug and then I have some RC oil here from Young Living Oil um, because I didn't have any cedar wood oils or wood oils at all I decided to use RC which has cypress and spruce um, in it as well as some eucalyptus and then also from an, a previous spell I did a couple years ago uh, I have some holly here um, so I'm gonna grind that all up in my mortar and pestle and um, make some magical incense and then I'm gonna light this candle for for breed here um, to honor breed and that these incense are in honor of her and of Embolg. okay guys I uh, see you in a second okay I'm gonna start the ceremony and this little flower from yesterday that was on um, my um, with my Embolg ritual just happened to be sitting right here so I put it with um, the candle that represents breed um, on my lovely cloth that I want to quickly give a shout out to my boyfriend for. He gave this to me for my birthday this year. Um, and I love how much he understands the uh, spiritual work that I'm doing and that um, he's so supportive of it and um, loving about it and does it with me sometimes too. Um, and on his own. So I want to give him a shout out because he's freaking amazing. Um, anyway, so I'm going to start. So Breed, I call upon you again today to please join me in my ceremony in making these beautiful, magical incense that I want to make to honor you. Please help me with your fertility and your abundance in all aspects of my life, like career, like money, like love, like foundation and a place to live all of the aspects of life that I want to be fertile and abundant, I ask you, please, to bring those in to me. I honor you in the light and the life and the love that you bring, goddess of light, goddess of fertility, goddess of abundance. Thank you. So, I am going to combine all of these ingredients together, and I have a chant that I say that are, is going to charge the incense while I do it. <clears throat> so first you add your dry ingredients, so you can totally do this at home um, with whatever ingredients you may have. So first I'm going to put in the basil. And I have no idea how much to use, I'm just going by sight. Ooh, that smells good. 
And a lot of these you have in your kitchen already, which is something that I love about witchcraft is that um, so many of these things are just household herbs and spices that we have. It's not anything like uber duber, like out there, you know? These are things that are natural of the earth, things that are every day that women always had to work with um, that were in our kitchen cabinets. Um, and then there's, uh, there's some holy numbers that mean things and such, like I know with clothes, nine clothes is for protection. Um, so because of that, I'm just gonna use nine clothes today. Also gives us some courage, which I feel like I need in life right now to take my next steps forward. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in my mugwort. So mugwort is really good for, um, you can drink it as a tea. It's uh, really good for dreams, for prophetic dreams. <clears throat> and also just for sleep in general. This stuff, if you have a hard time sleeping, <sighs> this stuff seriously knocks me out when I drink it. It's like, woo, and done within a few minutes. So if you ever have a hard time sleeping, get some uh, mugwort and make it into tea and it'll really help you sleep. Also might make your dreams prophetic and psychic, just FYI. <laughs> And yes, I had all of these ingredients because I am a witch, so I just have some of a lot of these things for other spells that I've done. But then, like I said, some household things like the basil and the rosemary. Um, I had uh, the RC oil I had because I love essential oils and um, the safflower oil uh, I had from making a cologne a long time ago for my boyfriend. So just random things. You can use olive oil, it says in here. You can use sunflower oil. Um, it also says that you can use resin, which is interesting. You'd have to go get resin. I'm sure most people don't have resin. Maybe some people do though. Um, so when I did pick this or cut this rosemary, I asked the plant to help me in my magical workings, if it would give its life and, and its energy to give me, help me in my magical workings. And I honored the plant before I took a piece, which I think is really important even when we're preparing fruits and vegetables and things to, to think whatever we are consuming for its energy and for its life force that it's giving us. And it does make me sad a lot because it is a living thing. And my guide said to me, maybe it's supposed to make you sad. Maybe that's part of what it is to be human to really feel this compassion and empathy in everything that we do. And there's nothing wrong with sadness. We avoid that. We avoid this feeling of sadness or pain or shame. But maybe we're supposed to feel that sadness when we are taking the life of something for our own energy and honoring that and honoring the cycle that it's giving us and honoring the life force that it's giving us and the sadness that we feel and that we are taking its energy and its life for our own. But everything's cyclical if we give back to the earth in the way that it gives to us. Our bodies may decompose one day and give back to the earth if we choose to do that in a natural way. We can also become ashes back in the sea my aunt, my Auntie Becky, who passed away last year, she said that she wanted to be put into the ocean with her ashes into the ocean so that the fish could nibble at her toes. <laughs> but that was really beautiful and sweet and just like her. <laughs> so maybe she became fish food, bringing it all back into a cycle. And it's okay to feel sad about that and reverent. And then it's got a pretty little flower here at the end that I will give to breed as well. And then I'm going to put in the uh, holly. I'm not going to do the berries. I'm just going to do the leaf I have here. I just have one little holly leaf here. I love that I already used this for a magic spell um, about two years ago, I think it was. Uh, <laughs> it's cool to use it again. Reuse. <laughs> it's already 
It's already got some magical elements to it, so we're just going to add some more to it here. Close this up so my kitties don't eat these berries. <laughs> Do be careful if you have cats with essential oils and things like that. They are toxic to cats, so um, if you are going to burn them or have them around, have lots of windows open, doors open, um, so that they can leave the room, um, so that they're not enclosed with uh, this, with the uh, smoke and the smells. Um, it's okay while you're working with them. I'm pretty sure, because I don't have my doors open right now, but. Um, it's when you burn them or if you have it on your hands, be careful. You might want to wash your hands so you don't get it on their fur and they don't lick it. A little bit's not going to hurt them, but well, in my opinion, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to pretend to be one, but, um, just be cautious. Just be aware. Okay. So as I grind this, I am going to, um, oops, that's the wrong way. Um, I'm going to be saying my spell. Sense of ages, born of fire. Spells arise as well as will inspi inspires. Sense of ages, born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. I like that. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Mm. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. This is my first time using a mortar and pestle. It makes me so excited. I feel like such a witch and I love it. <laughs> it's really fun. It's really cool. Sense of age is born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Sense of age is born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Oh shoot, I forgot my, darn it, do I have it, oh no, I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, so I dropped this earlier, it's a cinnamon stick, this is also in my ingredients, and I uh, swore I heard something drop and then I didn't see it because it's the same color as the floor. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put some cinnamon in here too. Sense of age is born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Sense of age is born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Wow, you guys, this is so much fun. So interesting. Am I doing the wrong side? I might be doing the wrong side. Let's try this side. Let's see if this works better. Oh, yeah, that works way better. <laughs> First time, remember? <laughs> Trying something new. I love trying something new. Oh yeah, that cinnamon really brings out some of the good smells in here. Oh, I love it. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Sense of ages born of fire, spell arises as will inspires. Sense of ages born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Oh, man, that smells good. This is waking me up, too. Sense of ages born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Sense of ages born of fire. Spells arise as will inspires. Pretty ground up now. So I'm going to add in my carrier oil. Again, it doesn't really say how much in here, so I'm just going by sight of what I'm seeing. It's supposed to bind it together. Sense of ages born of fire.
spells arise as will inspires. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Sense of eight of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Maybe a little bit more in there. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Mm, yeah, that's good now. Sense of ages born of fire, spells arise as will inspires. Now, I am going to put this in my incense holder, um, but I am not going to burn them now because I can't open my door right now. Um, so once I'm able to open my door, I'll uh, burn these and see what they smell like so that my kitties can go upstairs. Um, and we'll see. And uh, I will, yeah, maybe report back. I don't know. Maybe you guys are interested. In, <laughs> maybe not because you can't smell them, but I highly recommend doing this. It was really fun. Um, and, uh, I'm very happy to have made my very first incense. It smells really good. <laughs> it smells really very earthy, um, which is awesome. So I'm going to thank Reed and honor Reed before I go. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll put it in the incense holder now to complete this. Okay. So I'm going to transfer this over. I'll show you guys how it looks close up. That's how it looks all mixed up. <clears throat> this is my bottom of my incense holder is what I did. Um, and yeah, I'll try to light these later once I'm able to uh, open my windows and doors and uh, let my kitties go upstairs if they want. Um, but for now, I'm going to thank Reed for joining us and for joining me <laughs> and um, close the ceremony. Goddess Breed, bringer of light, fertility, and abundance, thank you for joining me in my spell work and in this ritual. Thank you for joining me and guiding me and bringing your light, your fertility, and your abundance. I honor you. And I honor you with these incense. Blessed be. Blessed be. Okay, so update. It looks like it may need to, need to be put in an incense, I mean, I'm sorry, an essential oil burner rather than an incense burner because you can't really light it on fire. But you can light your incense oil on fire underneath. And I just did that, so we'll see if that actually works. And I relit my candle for Breed uh, to honor her while I light this candle, or this these uh, homemade incense, sorry. Okay, guys, blessed be.